Okay. So I'll swatch tomorrow. Is yesterday? Hmm. I don't know. I I I don't know. I I I I don't know. <laughs> I thought this was like. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, it's Yan. Welcome back to my channel. If you're following me on Instagram, then you'll know I just came back from Thailand. I recently went to Bangkok for a mini vacation for myself and my boyfriend, and we did quite some damage to our bank account. <laughs> Well, I did, mostly. So from the title, as you can see of this video, um, I will be sharing with you what I bought from my Thailand trip. I've bought quite a few makeup products um, during my stay in Thailand. Not as much as I'd like, because I don't really know Thai cosmetic brands that well. I've only heard of some. I've never really tried um, any makeup products from Thailand. So yeah, let's jump right in to the video. So the first makeup brand that I encountered in Thailand is the brand called Beauty Cottage. I have heard of this brand before, I think online or on social media somewhere, but I've never really gotten myself to try it. There's a place called Terminal 21 in Thailand, Bangkok. I went there for shopping and then I saw that they have a Beauty Cottage boutique over there. So this is a tiny tin can that they gave me just, to, just for me to um, store my makeup up and everything. Their packaging is insane. They're so 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 pretty. Their packaging kind of gave me more like a vintage vibe to it. The prices are definitely not luxury so they are pretty affordable. I got four lipsticks right here. One of them I don't know where I opened up two. So from Beauty Cottage, I only got their semi-matte lipstick. I got four shades and one of them is missing. It's probably in one of my bags. Some of my friends also got their, I think it's their blush and some of their lipsticks and um, eyeshadows. I don't remember if they got any eyeshadows, but I'm really interested in their lipstick because when I swatch them at the back of my hand, they're really smooth considering they're a matte lipstick. So I got four shades. One of them is missing. It's called Bloody Mary. It's more like a deep cranberry red if I remember correctly. So the other three shades that I got is Warm Light. Warm Light is a really nice pinky coral shade. It's really pretty and since it's semi-matte, you can see there's still a bit of a sheen to it. And I'm currently wearing Warm Light on my lips today. I really, really like this shade. Another shade that I got is Dada. This one is more of a neutral mauve. I love mauve since the beginning of time. This is Dada. It's just a really regular mauve pink shade, like an everyday color. I love this and I love the name Dada. And the last one I got is Sunrise. Sunrise gives me more of a burnt orangey vibe with a red undertone. It's really pretty. It's so nice. All of these shades feel really smooth, really creamy, and they're not drying at all on the lips considering that they're matte. Even though I've only tried their lipsticks for maybe a few days, their lasting power is pretty good. So let me do a close-up for you. So this is a shade in Warm Light and I love it. It adheres to the lips really, really well. Their lipsticks kind of remind me of the ones from Colourpop, their luxe lipsticks. But the ones from Beauty Cottage, I feel like they adhere to your lips even better than the Colourpop luxe lipsticks. So yeah, I'm really excited to wear this all the time. Apparently Thailand is really reputable for their black mascara and eyeliner. So I got one each from the brand Mistine. You can find this in Hong Kong as well, but I've never really gotten myself to like try them out until this trip to Thailand. So I got their Super Black Fixed Eyeliner. It is a brush tip. That's what I used on my eyes today. And let me show you, it's really black. And you can draw your eyeliner really, really thin or really thick. So, so far so good. It's only my first time using it today, so I don't know how I feel about this because it claims, I think it claims it's all in Thai so I can't really read it. I can't really vouch for its longevity or whether if it's waterproof or not, so I'll have to test that out. But just for my first impression, I really, really like this eyeliner. And for the mascara, I got the Big Eye Waterproof Mascara. This is the packaging. It claims to be sebum proof, which is oil proof, waterproof, and smudge proof. Again, it's my first time using it, so I don't know if this product can actually live up to their claims. And what's special about their 
mascara is their brush head on the packaging they say it's called a twin design i'm not sure if you can see it but um there's like a side of longer bristles and a side of shorter bristles i think you can build up the mascara at the base of your lashes with the shorter bristles and then elongate your eyelashes with the longer bristles and see how bendy this is Ooh. It's really bendy, so I'm not sure how that really helps in the application of mascara. It's just a really fun thing to play with. It's also the mascara I use today. It's really black. It dries down pretty well, but the only thing that I notice is that it kind of drags my lashes down a bit. My lashes have a slightly hard time staying curled. Even after using my lash curler and going into this mascara, it kind of drags my eyelashes down a bit, just a bit. So far, so good. It just won't be my favorite, favorite mascara ever. Another eye product I got is a brow product. When I was shopping, I was thinking if the eyeliner and mascara from Thailand are good, then their brow product should be pretty okay too, right? Logic? <laughs> I don't know the brand. It's called Brow It by Nong Chat. I have no idea how to say the name. So the packaging looks like this. The brow product itself, it's called Brow Salon Liquid and Care. And Cara? Wait, Brow Salon Liquid and Cara. It claims to last for 24 hours, which is a pretty bold claim. And waterproof. I've always wanted to get back into trying liquid brow products. I remember trying some, I think it's a Korean product and it worked pretty well but that was like some years ago and I really like using brow pencils on my brows now so I want to switch it up and try new things oh, it's the side the brush tip looks like this it's like a felt tip marker Ooh. this is a pretty nice shade you can do really tiny strokes or a really big one like this and on the other end is a brow mascara it's more like a brow gel um, it's also what I used on my brows today I'm not really used to using liquid on my brows I definitely need some practice on that but it looks pretty nice I guess tell me what you think is it too much? and the color also matches my hair pretty well so I do like that what's Cara? oh mascara! liquid and Cara oh. I see. Oh, you're funny. More lip products. I'm sorry, I'm just randomly picking up products to talk about. <laughs> I picked up two lip products from the supermarket called Big C. They have like a section of makeup on the side. I saw this and it looks really, really nice and I just really want to try it out. It's from the brand J24. I've never heard of this brand before. These are called the Ink Lipstick and Tint. And I got the shade Today I Choose Happiness. And yesterday is gone, tomorrow is mystery, today is blessing. I love the name of the shades. They're like a duo product where on one end you got a lip tint and on the other end you got a lipstick. On the packaging it says that you can use them together or separately so let me swatch it for you. I'll swatch the shade tomorrow is yesterday. This is more of a pinky shade. Tomorrow is yesterday. So on a tint end, it's more sheer, but it's still pretty pigmented for a tint. On the other end is a liquid lipstick, so as you can see, it's more opaque and creamy. I'll let this dry down a bit and I'll swatch the other shade for you, which the name is too long, I'll just swatch it. Oh wait, sorry. Uh, the packaging is confusing me. This shade that I swatch is the super long name. Yesterday's gone, today's a blessing, blah, 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 blah. And the other one is called Today I Choose Happiness, which this is the pink one, okay? Hmm. It looks really neon on the camera and in person. On the hand, the liquid lipstick feels pretty nice. It's really creamy. So yeah, I don't really know what to think about these. I think most of the shades looks fine except for the pink tint. It's a bit too neon for my liking. But again, maybe on the lips it would look different. When I did some last minute shopping at Watson's, I found out that the Watson's in Thailand, they have a lot of Korean makeup that Hong Kong Watson stores don't carry. And so I got some Korean makeup from Thailand. I know. I, I, I don't know why I do that, honestly. Anyway, I came across the brand BBIA. It's a really famous Korean brand, even in Hong Kong, but I've never tried their lipsticks, which is what they're famous for. These are called the BBIA Last Lipstick. I got two shades. So this is the shade Classy. 
Oh, it's a really bad swatch. This is a corally pink and this is fantasy. Yes, yes. Mm hmm. This is my kind of shade. So this is like a brick red. These two shades really scream autumn to me and we're getting into the season, so yeah. I've tried these on my lips for once or twice, I think, and they feel really nice. They're really creamy. They just stick to your lips and they don't really move anywhere. So that's really good. I'm really excited to use these more. And last but not least, I came across a brand called Galaxy. I thought this is a Korean brand, but on the packaging it says it's distributed by a Thailand company, so Ooh, Thai cosmetics. Okay, so as you can see, the packaging is so cute. Their brand is called Galaxy, so obviously everything is galaxy themed. So cute. It's the only reason, it's not the only reason, but it's the main reason why I really want to buy these. Got the mini blushes that are in like a card box. It's so so cute. They have, I think they have. 12? 6? 12? I, I, I don't remember how many shades they have, but they have quite a few shades and I only got three. I thought I shouldn't spend that much money on like stuff that I don't really need, but I just really really want this. So inside they come with a mini mirror, a brush which is really scratchy, don't use it. So this is the shade Venus, it's also the blush that I used on my cheeks today, it's so pretty. It's a matte blush. When I was feeling the product in store, it feels really really creamy, but it's a powder product. This is the shade Venus. This is a really nice pink blush if you like pink blushes with a really tiny hint of coral so it's not like a cool tone pink. It's so pretty, so beautiful. Mm. Love Venus, love it, love this planet. Okay, and then the other shade that I got is Sun. So Sun is more coral, more orangey than Venus and it has really tiny shimmers in it. Sun, 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 sun. So since it has a slight shimmer, it would look really nice as a blush or as a blush topper. It's how I would want to use it. I haven't tried this shade out on my face yet. I've only put Venus on. So yeah, this is a really pretty color. And the last shade that I got is Astronaut. It's so cute. This is more of a pinky shimmery blush. It's definitely more cool tone than the other two. Yeah, it has silver shimmers. It makes it extra cool tone. So this is Astronaut. So nice. I love it. Don't use the brushes though. Yeah, so that's all the makeup products that I got from Thailand. I haven't really put them to the test, but I can feel that I really like a lot of them and maybe some of them will be my favorites you never know I'll keep you guys posted so this is the end of my video that's all the makeup products that I got I also bought some clothes some accessories this is one of them I can't share the food with you cuz I'm eating them away as I'm speaking. I bought a lot from Thailand. So if you're interested in other lifestyle stuff, for example, fashion, accessories, um, I don't know, like bath products, because Thailand's really famous for bath products. If you're interested in any of that, let me know down in the comments below. So I will film it for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Leave me a thumbs up. If you like my video and if you want to see more of my face remember to subscribe down there and remember to turn on notifications so you actually get notified when I have a new video up because I still don't have a regular upload schedule let me know if you want a part 2 to my Thailand haul and I'll see you in my next video bye <sighs> my fingers